what's up people today we're outside because a friend picked up her plant from the house her dying plant and brought it over for me to save and let me just show you guys what happened she said she wanted a plant for her office I went over to the local gardener bought a plant and they put all the soil just look at this all the soil in this big pot that I can't even carry. Look, pot is heavy, it's huge, and it's just black soil. It's not a mixed soil. The soil is stiff. I've only been able to remove a few out because it's, look, it's literally absolutely no aeration going through the soil. This I have poured water in to be able to get it to this level just so that the soil can come out of the pot see all this now the reason i wanted to do this video is because a lot of people make this mistake um if you're gonna put a plant in this the soil requirement is slightly different from when you're gonna have it outdoors outdoors we live in a very hot climate so you might get away with it but you won't indoors. Quickly, I'm going to try and fix it. Unfortunately, most of the plant is dead. I took it out. Literally, what's left of that big fan. This is a fan, by the way. That big fan she had in this pot. I had to buy her a new one because she says, I want it lush. <laughs> so, I'm going to buy her a new one. But I'm still going to try and save as much as I can from this. And then, let's get to it. First... Let me get my gloves on. I don't want any outdoor impurities in my fingers. Yes. So let's start with giving her a new soil mix. Because I feel like... So this is the soil mix I'm going to do for her. Because it's a fen. And fens usually go, go on trees. Which means that they literally do not even need soil. But... Because we have to give them soil, it has to be a very light soil mix. I'm going to be mixing it with four different items in addition to the actual soil. That way it's very chunky, it's very light. The moment you pour the water in, it's taking as much water as it needs and it's releasing the rest. And then you don't have any problems. As long as she keeps watering it and keeps it in a very lit canna in her office, she'll be fine and this plant can thrive it's one of the easiest plants to take care of once you know what you're doing it likes a lot of water so you probably water it two to three times a week because of how hot it is in our climate right now Ghana is literally very hot right now we're doing like about 34 to 36 degrees celsius sometimes 37 that's really hot by the way let me talk about my shirt for a second. Do you see it? Do you see it? It says we are not basic. And it has all the things I love on it. Thank you so much to Ayoko Fantastic. I will put her handle in the comment section or in the caption so that you can check out her art. This is really dope. Also, then you know there's a match coming, right? So stay tuned for that. But for now, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And let's get into this. Now I'm doing the mix, the soil mix, to make sure that it's all well mixed up. I don't know if you can see it, but bring this camera a bit closer. So you see how gorgeous this mix looks as compared to what I showed you before. This is chicken feed. I mean chicken poo. You see like when the chicken poo is in the hand cook. All that nutrients from the pool is compost. Adding compost to the soil, some good compost to ensure that the soil has nutrients. Then I'm adding some perlites. I have already added charcoal and cocoa pits to ensure that like it can hold water, but there's still enough air for the soil to breathe i mean for the roots of the plants to breathe you need air in your soil literally if you're watching this right now and you have a plant hi mr farm milk seller thank you 
If you're watching this right now and you own a plant, go straight to the plant if you haven't watered it yet. Pour water on it. How fast it drains tells you if you have a good soil or not. If the water stays on top for a very long period of time, no. We live in Accra, Ghana. You would hear fan milk from time to time when you're doing a video and you don't want any noise and you have a quiet, a quiet compound. Some external something will just hit you. Anyway, let's move on. So go straight to your plant, pour the water. If you have bubbles coming at the top, it means that the soil is very airy and the plant is having enough air passing through its roots or around its roots. If you don't and you stick your finger in the soil and it does not go down and it's just so kick, then you know you're not the reason the plant is dying is really just the soil that's one of the biggest secrets to all the people you see keeping plants alive that's your local gardener in front of that house that you buy the plants from because the truth is just like the pharmaceutical companies there's planes there's farm milk barbecue why just like pharmaceutical companies boys for chop if you don't know about your plant it will tell you what has worked for them outdoors you never know what has worked or what will work indoors but that's why i'm here right we're done mixing the soil let me pick the camera up and show you how gorgeous this looks look at it see you see the charcoal you see the perlite you see the soil black soil you see the compost it's all in there this is the new plant I'm giving her. It comes from one of my favorite, my favorite gardeners. See how lush the plant actually is? Let me show you. This is how lush the plant is. This is how fern, a happy fern looks like. Like very long, lush, Rasta fried rice type of plant. And she also wanted me to combine this plant. This is an Agumania or a Chinese evergreen plant. She also wanted me to put some in there. Now, we're not going to plant it directly into the pot she brought because it's big and overwhelming for the plant. You want to pot it in plastic, then you let the plastic sit in your decorative pot. That is better, easy to carry. It also allows, it confines the plant. And it just makes it look better. And the plant has little room or enough room to have fun and enjoy your space. I don't know why we use all those huge pots in Ghana, but trust me, it's better to gradually upgrade the pot size of the plants. It's gradually upgrading the pot size works better than just leaving her in a big pot. For the rest of her life that way you have time to garden play around with it have fun with it learn a thing or two about nature while at it let's start by removing this from the old pots this plant look at this i don't know if you can see it i'm gonna try and zoom it but you see that that's a happy plant that's a happy gorgeous plant we have that here well, I'm going to pull this out first. As you can see, the soil is so stuck on you. Like, that's all stuck on you. But we have to get rid of it. Look at that. Look at that roots. Look at those roots. We're trying as much as possible to get as much, as much off. So that it feels like new food. You know how you feel when you eat good new food? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You do. You do. She wants this in the middle. We have managed to remove as much as we can from this. We're going to do the same for the fin. And then, let's see. So it's literally going to be something like this. And the fin is going to be all around it. So I'm going to be dividing the fin, which is quite easy to do, by the way. Let's get into it. For now, this goes here. It had some babies coming up. That's mine. <laughs> She's just gorgeous. Put my soil in here in the pots that we're planting and look how well this is sitting 
I like to give my plants a front and a back type of vibe. I feel like the part I want you to see goes in the front. This this plant grows tall. It could it it doesn't grow as like a lot of not like how tall I am. But it's it grows really tall. Not really tall. It will stay lush and nice and it'll give now we're gonna fill it up with the rest of the soil all around it. You see the pots that she had just one plant in it. Actually not for two. Not this one, but now she's gonna have two of NASA's approved plants that purify the air in one pot. Very light pots that you can carry yourself. Not those heavy pots that leave you wondering or messing with the small waste you have in your good age. We already grow all around it. Just all around it like that. And then I'm going to just shake it up to make sure that any SS any SS drops. She wanted a lush plant that is dropping. Now she has two that she can have in the same spot. We are done here. Now to the hardest part, which is removing that bad soil from that cute pot over there. I'm going to do that so that I can show you the finished product. How about that? I said I wasn't going to show you, but I feel like you need to see it. Okay, look. How the hell? No, this is not how the F is. This is not how the F is. You're not trying. If you're trying to mimic, you think that's because the plant was growing in a big soil space when you took it. It means that it needs big, big soil. No. The earth is made up of a lot of things. And plants only live in the topsoil. So when you water it, it all goes down. But look at this. There's absolutely no breathing space. We are no shahawu. And other plants are shahawu. I've been trying to remove the soil for days. My only luck is that it rained. Because it rained, a lot of it, like, I see clay. No be clay then, Selgi, madam. No be clay this. Why? No be clay. No be molding clay this. How? How will you put plants in this stress? Why? I don't even know what I'm going to do. I Galam say. I'm done removing the bad soil. The clay that should be at the potting place. That's cute potting place. And I cry. And this is what you have. This is what you have. A nice lush plant that won't die. See? It won't die. It won't die. It won't die. I look at this pot that was loaded. See? It didn't reach my waist. Was with clay. Why won't the plant suffer? Today when you are tired of watching this plant, you watch this one. But there's a very important part. Right after potting your plant, you need to give it water. So that it's like, ooh, I love it. Ooh, I love it here. I can hear them. That's what I'm saying. They're like, oof, I love it here. Ooh, thank you, Ivy. Boom. Guys, this is the first episode of many where I try to save the plants of my friends when they see their plants. They say, I've gone to buy some. They don't kill it. My plants is fine. But I'm not done with this. I'm going to wait for the water to drain out. It's really sunny right now. I'm also going to wait a little into the dark. I would spray it with neem solution to make sure that we're not taking any bad pests into the office. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Cheers to more and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.